everyone! Firstly, I'd like to apologise for my voice in this video because I've come down with some weird kind of like cold cough. Well, it's not that weird. I think it's like a common cold actually. But um, I have had so many requests to do the hairstyle that I wore to Zoe's launch party, which was actually inspired by Emma Watson uh, because I just love her. She always looks so chic and cute and pretty. And she actually always wears her hair up. And I do this hairstyle for so many different like premieres and parties and anything that I go to where I want to feel a little bit extra special and you guys always ask me how to do it so today I thought I'd show you. Okay so the first step I'm going to comb my hair because my hair is kind of like I washed my hair and then I always put it up into like a little towel turban thing on the top of my head and then I just haven't done anything with it there's no product in here. So now I'm just going to comb through my hair using my Tresemme wide tooth comb and I like to start at the ends. My hair doesn't really get that knotty, so, but if you have really knotty hair, it's really good to kind of start at the ends. Don't try and like go from here, even if I did that. Oh, my hair is just great. It's just not very knotty, so I can just do that. But I know some people, if they went from the top down to the bottom, their hair would not be very happy about it. So you yeah, just want to comb through your hair, and that is the first step. Then I'm going to go in with some mousse. This is the Tresemme 24 Hour Body Amplify Mousse. I've used this one for years just because I find the Tresemme 24 Hour Body Range just really helps my hair like have a bit more volume. And when you're doing a hair up style, mousse is so important because you really need that grip. If I try to, because my hair's freshly washed as well, if I now try to just like, if I just blow dry it and then try to put it up, it would be a little bit slippery and too clean. So I'm going to use some of this mousse. about that much. I love how mousse grows on your hand as well. It makes me a little bit excited. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I kind of pat my hands together like that, and then I start just kind of like getting it through the mid lengths and ends, and with what's left on my hands, I go through the rest of my hair, like from the roots. So I'm not applying too much to this area up here. It's concentrated on the mid lengths and ends. I really like this mousse because it never feels crispy. Now we want to get that perfect middle parting, so I use my comb again and just comb it all back. I then trace a line with my finger. Sometimes I go all the way from my nose like this. It's not totally necessary. And then I just trace a line with my finger and then just part it like that. So now you have your middle parting, it's time to blow dry your hair. And I like to use a paddle brush. Sometimes I just literally just rough dry my hair, but when I'm doing, oh, I turn it on. So, yeah, sometimes I just use my hand. Okay, so now my hair is dry, and my hair actually dries. When I dry it with a brush like that, it dries really, really straight. Um, I should remember to dry my hair with a brush more often, because when I don't use a brush, it's kind of like, goes a little bit wild. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is put in some of the Tony and Guy Casual Rough Texturizer Spray. This is just really good because it helps to give your hair a matte finish, and just gives more texture, basically. So I'm just gonna apply this liberally throughout my hair. All about texture with an up to you guys. You definitely don't want slippery hair. This actually looks really nice with my hair down. When I'm doing hair tutorials, I always find, oh, I just swallowed some of this then. Oh, <coughs> it's gonna make me cough. I always find when I'm doing hair tutorials that halfway through I'll be like, oh, this actually looks really nice. I just wanna leave it here, but then I know you guys wanna see the finished look. Um, yeah, so obviously, if you're not doing an up to, this looks really nice, just adds a bit more volume and texture to a down hair look like this. So now you need to section your hair. So I'm going to take a section. Don't worry too much about what you're taking or it doesn't need to be that strict. But I tend to go from the crown, curving it round to the back of my ear. And then this back section, you just need some clippy thingies. You can get these kind of anywhere. And I'm just clipping this at the back. And so I'm just using my clips both sides just to section off the hair and get those bits out of the way. So now it's just a case of braiding these pieces back. And you're French braiding them. And I'm going to um, put the piece of hair over so that the braid is inside because that helps to give you a little bit more volume. Because what I hate is I really don't want the plaits to be like really tight to my head because I find that it just doesn't look very good. It looks so much nicer if they're... With this hairstyle, I like to go for something that's slightly messy. Not really messy, but just like not super structured and not super tight to the head. I like it to have a bit of volume. 
which is why we used all the products. Um, so yeah, you just start taking a piece of hair at the front, divide it into three places, places, three pieces. I'm sure you guys all know how to braid. And then just take one piece over and then the back piece over. And then when you come to take the front piece over, take a piece from here and add it in. And that's how you French braid, just in case you don't know. And then again with this piece, I'm adding in a piece from the front and putting it in. And with the back, adding in a little piece and putting it over. And again, sorry if I'm repeating myself, it's just for people who don't know how to French braid. I'm just trying to make this really easy for you. So then you just wanna be finishing off that braid. So when you get to this stage, obviously you're not adding in any more bits because there's nothing really to get. So you just do a regular braid for the rest of it. Then I'm just taking a little clear, you probably can't even see this on camera, it really looks really weird. Um, I'm then just taking a clear elastic bobble and I'm just going to secure this braid or plait. We actually always call them plaits in the UK, but I always say braid on camera because I get loads of comments saying, what's a plait? Don't you mean a braid? So I'm just gonna do the other side and then I'll be back with you. So now you have both of your braids done. So you now want to take out your clips. And then what I like to do at this stage is put in a bit more of the rough texturizer because you really want to scruff up this back bit. You don't want it being really tight to your head, so we're going to tie it into a ponytail. So I'm just going to spray in a bit more of this. This looks like the weirdest hairstyle right now. I am aware of that, guys. Don't panic. Then you want to pull this bit back. And when you're pulling it back, try not to pull it too tight. Like you want this to be a little bit rough, a little bit scruffy. You can just take a little elastic again, and this one's in, well, you won't see at all, so it doesn't matter if it's what colour it is, really. And you just want to tie this into a ponytail. And this ponytail is really important because this is like your base that we're gonna like tie everything else into and do a little chignon. Now, guys, you want to take your braids and you want to cross them over on top of the ponytail, then wrap them round. Then I'm taking a bobby pin and I'm just going to secure those braids around the ponytail. Now it's time for the chignon, and don't be scared guys, this bit is not too difficult. A chignon always sounds really fancy, but it's basically just a looser bun. And for this hairstyle, I like to do it quite messy anyway, so it's not really difficult to do. You just want to have lots of bobby pins at the ready. I'll just put these on my lap. And basically, you just want to roll, instead of like with a bun, how you'd go round and round, you kind of just want to roll this ponytail. So just starting at the tip, just kind of roll it and then pull it round on top of that ponytail so that you're covering the whole little kind of mess we made there with the braids and stuff. And then you just want to start taking bobby pins and just pinning it in. Just keep on putting those pins in and you can kind of let go and think, is that enough? No, that's definitely not enough to hold it. You need to add in some more. So I've literally put in like three pins there, but I'm gonna add more because that's, you know, not really secure, but you can even see just with the three pins that that is holding it pretty well. Okay, and this is your finished chignon. So as you can see, I've just added in a few more grips just to make it it's super secure. Now I can shake my head, it's not gonna come out. We're almost done. I'm just gonna take a pin tail cone and where this is like really, really, it actually looks quite nice, I think. I, by the way, if you keep looking, I'm looking in my viewfinder over here. Uh, my hair I'm using that as a mirror so um you can leave it like quite flat to your head like this but I just like to kind of go in with this and just kind of pull it out a little bit so I'm not even using the comb part I'm using the spiky part just to kind of pull out the braid to give it I don't know if you can see that how it's like got a slightly more like rounded more kind of volumized look whereas this one's really flat if you're one of those people that feels like you need a little bit of hair around your face, I find you can just use this pintail comb just to pull. I don't want too much down today. So just pulling down a few like fluffy bits around your ears. I've definitely got one ear bigger than the other and I like to hide that a little bit. <laughs> I've had it since I was little. The final step is to use the VO5 Ultimate Hold Hairspray and I am just going to do a random spray all over my head first of all. I'm not going to talk whilst I'm doing it because I always make that mistake and then have a mouthful of hairspray. So, I'm 
there we go and um this will just help to hold in the style all day or all night or whenever you're wearing it and then also this hairspray actually helps to give a little touch of shine so what i'm gonna do and i've got some little like fritty bits on the top so what i'm gonna do is just spray that up on the top and then i'm gonna use the side of the can there i am talking when breathing in hairspray at the same time instead of using my hands and getting hairspray all over my hands i'm just gonna use the side of the can just then kind of roll that on the top that really helps to get rid of those frizzy bits just on the top there near the parting and this is the finished look i love this hairstyle so much like now that i've done it i just think oh i'm gonna film another video after this i think because i just love having my hair like this it feels really special and cute and I think it would be nice for like a fancy occasion or even if you wanted to spend a bit more time in the morning doing something special for your hair for school or work and yeah, I just think it's so cool, I love it. And if you do recreate this hair look at home please send me photos because I would love to see how you guys got on and if my instructions were at all helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you next time guys.